All right, welcome back. We're now going to talk about Corbett or Control Objectives for Information and Related Technology. Uh, this is another one of those models that's pretty popular out there in terms of uh, putting controls into place for uh, information security. It's pretty extensive. So when you look at uh, Corbett, what you're talking about is 34 uh, high-level uh, objectives. They're going to cover 215 uh, different uh, control objectives. All right, these are uh, based around four domains of plan and organize, acquire, implement, deliver, support, monitor, and evaluate. And we're going to look at each one of these and give you that kind of split uh, or breakdown of what the where the 34 uh, objectives are. So when you uh, go in and you look at the uh, plan and organize you're going to have 10 controlling objectives and it talks about you know what do you need to do to build organizational goals and objectives uh, through the use of IT how do you build uh, those uh, types of things um, how do you put objectives uh, around those in the uh, second domain remember plan and organize is your first domain acquire and implement is going to be your second domain you're looking at the specification of requirements, acquis uh, uh, acquisition of those uh, components, the component uh, integration, and then you're also going to look at your uh, ongoing maintenance and change requirements associated with that. So uh, uh, circling back a little bit, plan and organize, 10 controlling objectives, 7 controlling objectives under uh, controlling objectives. Look at that. We're, uh, we've got 34 of them and halfway through we've gone through 17. Uh, this brings us to delivery and support. This focuses on the, uh, the functionality of the system and the uh, end user. We're going to look at the input processing and output components of any uh, particular system. And then you're going to look at those processes to see if those processes are efficient and effective. Uh, 13 control objectives in the delivery and support almost as much as the entire system uh, in the uh, plan, organize, acquire, and implement. So a lot of emphasis on delivery and support uh, of actual users. And then that brings us to the uh, last of the domains which is, uh, under the Corbett model which is to monitor and evaluate. And during this monitor and evaluate uh, phase. We're going to look at regulatory requirements for controls, you know, which controls are going to be necessary due to these, and then how are you going to monitor the effectiveness of an ongoing uh, uh, program. Four high-level objectives bringing us to a total of 34 objectives across uh, uh, four different domains, and within those 34 uh, objectives, you have more than, uh, or not more than, you have exactly 215 uh, control objectives. Wow, wow, a lot of stuff built into uh, the Corbett model. Well, you know, we just started yesterday uh, talking about security models. We have covered so much uh, during this particular chapter. Uh, we started out looking at some system models and some of the old uh, granddaddy models, if you will. We looked at uh, ISO 27000, the NIST models, Corbett. Uh, so lots and lots of things covered uh, during this particular chapter. I hope you've uh, learned a bit about security management models. Remember, you don't have to start from scratch. There's a lot of work out there. Use Bing, use Google, go out and do your searches, and you should be able to find some security management models that give you a starting point uh, for building your security program. That's all for now. That's all for this chapter. Look forward to seeing you in the next chapter.